the last one example. It's a three-dimensional grid. So, as you know, we can see our grid in a three-dimensional view. So, some time ago I posted a message in my blog about grid. So, now I show you the process of its creation. So, at first I go to families and here the, uh, the, there is one interesting type of family. It's a generic line based. Uh, it's a family which can be drawn like an uh, like a line. So I pick it and here it is. Here it's a line. So I want to uh, use my uh, my grid letters and I want to show my letters on, the, on in the three dimensional view. So I need to use a model text. For example, uh, I need to style start from left and say my work plane will be left. OK. And uh, I enter model text, for example, A. It's a A. I place it here. And uh, I say that uh, text will be a parameter. Add a parameter. Uh, grid letter. So uh, each let each grid will have uh, its own uh, letter. So it's type of instance. Ident uh, and uh, group uh, identity data. Okay. And also I'll draw some circles. Circle. here and uh, circle I just press enter to repeat the last action and circle uh, here and uh, I need to fix my death OK, let's check on F4D. It's my letter. And uh, I'll load into project just to check how it works. So, place on, uh, place on the work plane component on the work plane from here to here and let's check on the 3D. As you can see it's uh, my letter is very small so I return by pressing control tab to my family and say that edit type dimension will be greater and uh, here and here too left and place in the center and let, let's check again Now it's, I suppose it's much better. And now we need to add the same letter on the other side. So uh, this reference plane has name right. 
so I go to right view and uh, I need to check set reference plane right and uh, do the same thing I can just pick this one and say create similar model text it's also it's for example B and place it here and now I need to say that text will be the same that on the first letter uh, text I let parameter grade letter okay now it's A I use a line I line here and oh. all right just move there are no snaps that's not a big problem all right and uh, I create lines model line and I want to pick this line and then I go to the front view else I need to update this and uh, I want to draw another one circle create model line circle and now I try to change length of the line okay it's work great and uh, for example I try to enter letter B letter B okay so I save this family grid three dimensional and load into project my project and if you want to place it uh, you need just pick pick lines then this line this line this line this line go to three dimensional view and uh, update grid uh, great uh, names but uh, here I, I switched off uh, generic objects so I need to go to view visibility graphics and turn on uh, generic model so I uh, I need to enter correct letters one two A and B is predefined and now I can check on 3D how it works I'll close all windows right head OK Oh, uh, all right. And the one thing I forget about it's uh, add a line. If you want to see your grid line, not just uh, its name, I need to edit family and. Uh, say create model line and pick line pick this line and lock the lock out into project
here it is. So now I can see a position of my grid. So I can copy my objects to multiple levels and uh, work with it. But uh, if you want to move your grids in, in the project, for example, if you start to move your grid uh, and your grid stays on the same place, it, uh, this means that while you're placing this grid, you need to um, turn on lock. When lock is turned on, your uh, three-dimensional and two-dimensional grids uh, will move together. Well, core, center of core and uh, grid. Another time, I need, I need to align by core, and here I need to check that I selected my grid. Now it's okay. So this is an example of using uh, our client-based families.